Hi guys, this is Sean P. I recently took a trip to Busan. Busan is the second largest city in Korea and the foremost port town. It's a beautiful place where the harmony of the sea, mountains, and rivers meet the splendor of the city. However, this time, I had several experiences that do not quite match the beauty of this great city. What could they be? Let's find out. On the first day of my arrival in Busan, I was extremely excited. The first place I visited was the famous Gamcheon Culture Village. As I enjoyed the colorful scenery of the village for a while, I began to see the uncomfortable truth of the village. Take a look at the signs posted everywhere. Please do not trespass into residential areas. Do not take photos that invade privacy. Do not litter. These are the residents' requests. There are plenty of such notices and appeals scattered throughout the village. On the streets, there are no residents to be seen. It's filled with tourists and shops. I also visited Haeundae, another representative tourist destination in Busan. It's filled with franchise hotels and upscale commercial facilities making it luxurious but typical of tourist spas. I was disappointed with these tourist spas because I came to experience the unique local charm of Busan different from Seoul. So I came up with an interesting idea. Why not go to places with as few tourists as possible? So I started visiting places that only Busan locals go to. Now, I'll introduce some of them. Will these places be as charming as tourist spots? Let's find out. The first place I chose is Bujeon Market, which substitutes for Jagalchi Market. Oh, wow. It is the largest traditional market in Busan and is where most locals visit. As you can see, it is so vast that it takes a few hours to wander. It's the largest local market I've ever seen in the entire Korea. There's everything from seafood, meat, vegetables, fruits and more. The street food here is also incredibly diverse, and both the price and taste are excellent. What made Busan Market particularly nice was the warmth and kindness of the merchants here. The owner of the rice soup restaurant generously offered us more side dishes. While we were standing and eating sushi, the nearby merchant warmly smiled at us and told us to eat slowly. The kind hot dog vendor even gave us tissues. It was truly a heartwarming experience at Busan Market. The second place I visited was not Haeundae, but Milakdo Market in Gwangalli is said to be a hotspot frequented by many MZs in Busan. Now, this view is the reason why this place is so famous among the trendy young locals here. The stunning view of Gwangan Bridge and Milak Port from this huge window is truly impressive. Moreover, this place is also a cultural space where trendy international foods, cafes, clothing stores, and accessory shops are gathered. You can fully experience the youthful, hip, and lively vibe of Busan here. That's not all there is to the charm of this place. When you leave the market, you can walk up to Milakdong Breakwater and the White Lighthouse at the end. From this spot, you can enjoy panoramic views of Haeundae and Gwangam Bridge.
The third place I visited is a local recommended restaurant where you can enjoy fresh seafood at reasonable prices. This place is famous for selling seafood caught directly by the henyo or female divers. The gracious shop owner closed the window for us, showing even greater hospitality when she learned that my wife hails from the same hometown as hers. This exemplifies the warmth and kindness often found in Korea. We ordered a seafood platter and all the dishes were fresh, generous in portion, and reasonably priced, so we were completely satisfied. Very fresh. Oh. Before leaving, we received recommendations from the shop owner for spots that locals visit, so we'll go check them out. This is the place, a spot where you can truly enjoy the forest in Busan, the city by the sea. This vast forest, densely packed with bamboo and over 400 years old Korean native pine trees, naturally soothes the soul. The signature photo spot of this forest is right here. Isn't it more mysterious with these towering stone columns on either side? is featured in many movies, and I can see why. The fifth place I visited is Dakbalkol Mura village, which serves as an alternative to Gamcheon culture village. Mm. This village, also revitalized through Busan's urban regeneration project, may not be as famous as Gamcheon or Hinyo village, but is known for its unique charm with a Hanji Experience Center operated by a renowned Korean paper artisan. And charming murals and sculptures scattered throughout the village, making it a place locals visit time and again. Above all, the highlight of this village is the monorail. This monorail was built to help elderly residents navigate the challenging 192 steep stairway steps, adding a touch of charm to the village. While waiting to hop on the monorail, we had a chance to meet and chat with several residents. The cheerful demeanor and innocence of this taekwondo clad boy Waiting with his grandmother brought a smile to my face. 안녕, 안녕하세요. <laughs> 잘 가요. During our conversations, we learned something else. It's the fact that young people in Busan are continually leaving the city, leaving behind an aging population. Finally, it was our turn to ride the monorail. Although it's slow, understanding the purpose of the monorail here made the ride more meaningful. With barriers installed and quirky fun, it was quite enjoyable. We became aware of a local issue through another grandmother. She mentioned that while many people used to visit this village in the past, problems such as Unauthorized trespasses, theft, and noise from tourists made life difficult for residents, leading many neighbors to eventually abandon their homes and leave. The kind grandmother who warmly welcomed our greetings looked lonely, and it saddened me. The last place I recommend is a hidden gem restaurant known among avid food enthusiasts in Busan. 
What makes this place special is that you get a whopping 10 dishes for only 20,000 won or US $14. What's even more shocking is that every dish at such a low price was of excellent quality without exception. The owner here personally handles the food preparation and uses high grade ingredients. I've visited many great restaurants in Korea, but I can confidently say that this is the first restaurant that made me want to pay more for the food. <laughs> what do you think guys? It was a truly local travel with hidden gems unknown to tourists. I enjoyed learning about the warmth, kindness, and stories of the people in Busan. Moreover, I became interested in unexpected social issues facing Busan. In fact, famous tourist spots in Busan like Gamcheon or Hinyeo Culture Village are suffering from severe over-tourism issues, causing significant distress to residents. The influx of tourists and subsequent gentrification have led to residents losing their livelihood and being forced to leave the area. It's worrying that the unique characteristics of this area are disappearing, leaving behind only remnants of commercialization. Is it possible for tourists and residents to coexist? Over-tourism is not just a problem unique to Busan. Places like Barcelona in Spain or Venice in Italy, where we recently visited, are also prime examples suffering from over-tourism. During this local journey, I came to think about this. If we benefit from tourism for relaxation and experiences, shouldn't the locals who provide these benefits also benefit? We should travel with respect and consideration as visitors. Understanding and respecting people, culture, and the environment are essential. Moreover, when spending money, it's better to support locals and small businesses that preserve the area and offer authentic experiences rather than large franchise companies armed with marketing and capital. In that context, I recommend to you the hidden gem local places I discovered. For more information, please refer to my ebook about Busan in the comment section below. I also love traveling and enjoying beautiful and wonderful things as evidenced in my international travels to 51 countries. However, the true beauty of a travel destination comes not just from the place itself, but from the people who live there, don't you think? I hope you'll embark on a journey filled with the warmth and charm of local people, much like the one I experienced in Busan. See you in the next video.